Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 21st of November and this is on Sunday. So I hope you're having a great weekend and great day today. So let's start the session right now. All right, good to see you everyone. Thanks for joining on this relaxing Sunday. All right, so yeah, let me get ready quickly and start the session. Today, this is weekly forecast. So I will cover the 21 pairs on my watch list and Forex pairs first. And then I will cover gold and crude oil, WTI. And also I will cover indices. And then finally, I will cover the news for next week. So uh, today myself is uh, relaxing. It's a slow day for myself. I have been preparing for the new lesson uh, for this uh, community, which is mainly focused on the price action and lines and some other Ichimoku strategies. So I am right now working to create a draft uh, to to uh, for the series of videos and I will upload in public so you can continuously learn on my YouTube channel. You know I like to go I like to do these live streams every day, but uh, you know I think we sometimes we need structure. So as I talk like this every day, I take a memo and uh, I pick up these questions and comments and. Based on these question, comments, and memos, I create the series of videos for the structure. And uh, you will see this hopefully by the end of this year. I was originally going to create it uh, this month, November or October. But uh, since I was too busy, I wasn't able to do it. So uh, yeah, that will be coming up soon. So. Yeah, today I was working on that project and also there was a GTS Global Trading School uh, earlier and I had a evening break and then here I am. So, Alright, so now I'm ready, so let's get started. Let me close my face and start the session. Alright, so this is Sunday, so it's a weekly forecast. Not only forex, but also gold, WTI oil, and indices. But before starting here, as a quick disclaimer, this information today is basically based on my experience. So when you take trades, when you decide where to buy or sell and exit, please do with the risk management. And also, since this is live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that would be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. All right, so let me quickly say hi to everyone. Thank you for joining. All right, Alex and Jalash Kishore, good to see you. And uh, B Nguyen, thank you for joining the Ichimoku community. So once you click on the join button on YouTube and join my Ichimoku community, then you, you can download all, all the perks on the Discord. So if you can come to this Ichimoku website over here, and scroll down and click join now and once you click it then there will be a new page pop up and here exactly you see how you can join the discord so yeah simply click on this join Ichimoku discord button and accept the invite and then you do uh, you connect to YouTube with the discord and then you can have all the perks in the discord so uh, yeah, please follow the instruction. It's only three steps and it's pretty simple. So uh, I hope to see you in the Discord group. So once again, thank you for joining. Bin Nguyen and stay gold. All right, and let's see who else is here. Archbuck, Grunwat, Roger, Powell, and Gary, Zaki, Asif, Rog uh, Roge, and Wong, and Hai, and uh, Yokobe. Tefon and Dijamel, Mary, Master of Lawrence, Golam, and Muhammad, William. Thank you for joining, everyone. Great to see you. 
Archipak says, so your Dubai Expo today, yes, I have posted the video on my second channel about the Dubai Expo. So uh, me and my wife has been been to Expo maybe four times already. So that video, uh, we went to Expo uh, last week with uh, Japanese wear, with Japanese clothes, uh, traditional clothes. So hope you enjoy the video. That was amazing shows, amazing live music, and amazing restaurants. All right, thank you for joining everyone. Karim, good to see you here. And Ivan, Sudeep, and Hanif, and everybody else, thank you for joining today. All right, so let's start. So let me switch to trading view. And first I will cover the Forex pairs on my watch list. And I cover the weekly chart since weekly time frame, weekly candles are closing uh, right now. So I look at the chart on the weekly chart uh, every weekend and Monday so that uh, I can have the idea of which way the market goes in lower time frames. Because basically the market follows the higher time frame direction. So if you see weekly chart trending, that means next week could be also following that direction. And that's why I see weekly chart. And also, if we see the candles patterns and price actions, we might see some clues. And with that in mind, you watch the market during the day, during the week, next week. So, starting from the Euro USD, you can see that the Kumo down, Senko Span B down, and Senko Span A is down. So, Senko Span B is the upper part, and Senko Span A is the lower part when it's bearish Kumo. So you see that these lines are down. And then Kijun Sen is pointing down and Tenkan Sen is also pointing down this way. And Chikou Span below the candles. So this is bearish. The market has been stably bearish and it broke the Kumo three weeks back and now it's going downwards. So this is bearish. So next week could be bearish in the, long, uh, in the lower time frames. But one thing here is that the Kijun Sen the Kijun Sen is still within the Kumo. So that means the market may be traced backwards. Um, if Kijun Sen is out of the Kumo and point down, that would be more trustable. And this is not only for the weekly chart, but only but this applies for any time frames. But uh, I do see Kijun Sen within the Kumo on the weekly chart, so it may be traced backwards. But in the lower time frames, we see downtrend in the daily chart or lower time frames, so we can follow as long as it goes down. So that's the Euro USD. And since this is downtrending, I will mark this one as purple so that I know this is trending on the weekly chart. So as I talk, I will just mark purple on the trending pairs and markets. So in case you miss one of my analysis, you can just, just see this uh, uh, watch list and you at a glance, you know which one is trending on the weekly chart. So EURUSD is trending down, so I purple it, and let's move on to the next one. All right, so next one is Euro AUD. Euro AUD, if you see the chart in Ichimoku, it's flat Kumo and flat Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen within the Kumo and Chikou Span overlapping. So in Ichimoku perspective, this is range. So there is no direction as per Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And with that in mind, if you see the candlesticks, you see that there was a there was a pin bar uh, twice. Like uh, last week was pin bar, and uh, a week before was also the pin bar. So this is ranging right now. The market is losing its direction. But most likely next week, we don't have any trends in the lower time frames. So simply, I would stay away in this case. So I will put this Euro AUD as a low priority to trade in screen charts next week. So, you know, our time is limited. Within the 24 hours in the day, you can't monitor chart all day long. Even myself, I am a full-time trader and basically this is my main job, but uh, I don't screen charts all day every day because I want to do something else I want to uh, enjoy the life also, so uh, I think it's not very time efficient. So I think this is uh, this one is ranging, so I don't spend too much time 
on this one. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Thank you for joining Noel. And Zamo says, uh, please put the music a little bit less. All right. Okay, okay. So let me put the music a bit lower so that you can hear my voice more clearly. Maybe like this, it works. In case if it's too loud still, please let me know. I can adjust the volume of the music. Okay, so Euro AUD, I don't mark this one. And let's move on to the next one on Euro, A, Euro Pound. So Euro Pound. All right, so Euro Pound, what do you see here now is this is bearish. Last week, it went down all the way 145 pips. So it was a huge downtrend. And not only that, the market broke the previous support level. And now this is bearish. And also, if you see Ichimoku lines, the Kumo's down, Senko Span B's down, and A's down. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both bearish. And the Chikou Span below the candles. So this is a strong and stable downtrend. So I will continuously look for the sell chance next week, Euro Pound. And in terms of exactly where to sell or buy, I usually do it in during the week. So if you can join the future live streams uh, next week, uh, then I will explain that. But for today, we just see charts in weekly chart to just to see overall market because the market is closed anyways, and we can't really see the lower time frame confirmations. All right, so Euro Pound is nicely downtrending, so let's continue to look for the sell chance next week. So moving on to Euro JPY, um, the market was bearish last week, and it's going down still. But uh, the market itself is exactly within the Kumo on the weekly chart, and you see because Kumo flat, Junsen Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span below the candles. But because of this, Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are flat right now, it's range. So I would draw the line on the support level here at 127.87. Um, hold on, let me make this solid. So um, the market is at the support level now, so it may bounce and it goes up next week. But even so, the uptrend might be uh, not so strong because this is within the Kumo and it may be spiky. So uh, you may not see uptrend in the daily chart next week on Euro JPY. However, if it breaks bearish, then it may break the Kumo and then the market could continue to go down this way. So let's wait for the breakout of 127.87 next week. And if you see that, then we can sell based on the lower time frame. And expect the market breaks the Kumo on the weekly chart and continuously follow downtrend. So, but right now, as of now, we don't see any trends, so I don't mark this Euro JPY. Okay, Jalash, um, would you look at the Bollinger Bands for Euro ST in five minute time frame? Um, I would look at the lower time frames uh, next week. And I mean, when the market's open, I will look at it. So please come back uh, uh, during the week and uh, remind me of that question or request. All right, Alex, thank you for joining. All right, so let's move on to the next one, Euro CAD PR. Okay, Euro CAD, uh, you can see that this is stably downtrending because the Kumo's down and Kumo Senko Span B is down and Senko Span A is also down. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving downwards and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is a stable downtrend and we can expect the market continuously go down next week. So yeah, I think this is bearish and I will continuously look for the sell chance. So EuroCAD, I will mark this one. But one thing is that as I, as I draw these support lines, um, these are the supports from the uh, February 2020, so the market may react to that support level and it may bounce, it may be traced. 
However, as long as Kumo down Kijun Sen down and Chikou Span below the candles, it's bearish. So uh, even if the market retraces backwards next week, then I still expect the market continuously go down this way. So that was Euro CAD pair. So now let's move on to Euro Swiss Fran. Um, Euro Swiss Fran is nicely downtrending right now. The Kumo's down, Jun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou Span below the candles. So just in case, let's see if we had any support level. And the support level was here at uh, 1.0502. And last week, it broke bearish. And not only that, you see that there was a doji candle for pin bar. Um, uh, pin bar two weeks back and it has broken downwards. So I can see that this would be the sign of the continuous downtrend. So I will mark this one also and continuously look for the sell chance next week. And now this is USDJPY. So USDJPY is also still bullish because the Kumo's up, Jun Sen Tenkan Sen both upwards and the Chikou Span above the candles. But one thing in this case can be fake is that there was, the last week was the pin bar. And because of this week, uh, week renews higher, uh, that's making the Kumo Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up. But in terms of the price action, we can see that there, is, there was a rejection here at the resistance level around 114.60. So it may retrace backwards. And it may retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen and bounce and goes up this way. So in this particular market, the bottom line here is that I would wait for the breakout of the weak high, which is 114.98. And if it does next week, then I will look for the buy chance. If it breaks that way, then I will take a buy. Otherwise, that will be in the range, and simply we have to wait for the breakout upwards. If it reverses backwards next week, then simply we better stay away. So, yeah, the breakout can come soon, so I will mark USDJPY also. Because Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan are all bullish. So the next one is USDCADPR. Um, this one is ranging, simply because the Kumo flat Jun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, but Chikou Span above the candle, so it's bullish. But uh, now the market is within the Kumo now. So when you see market within the Kumo, it's like airplane into the thunderstorm. So it can be spiky. Um, when, when I came from Japan to Dubai on a flight, there was a huge air pocket and uh, the airplane went through and it was very volatile. I mean, the, the airplane was moving up and down and that was a bit scary. So um, it might happen next week in lower time frames when you see this weekly chart within the Kumo now. So um, last week and uh, the week before has been uptrending, but uh, since this is in the Kumo, it may retrace backwards anytime soon. So even if you see uptrend, you have to be careful. Maybe you want to take only 1% risk per trade or uh, simply you stay away from this one and look for the opportunities on other trending pairs on the weekly chart next week. So I won't mark this one. So let's move on to the next one. USC Swiss run. This one is whole ranging now. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat. So it's range. And last week, two weeks back, were uh, uptrending, but overall is in the P wave. The P wave is where you see the market is squeezing like this in the P wave, the um, uh, um, lower highs and higher lows. So simply, we have to wait for the breakout of towards either direction. So it may break next week, or it may retrace backwards and continuously be within the P wave and breaks up or down towards either direction. 
or simply in this case, we better stay away, is my recommendation. So like this, with the Ichimoku in Koihyo, you know whether the market is ranging, trending, and the market is difficult to trade or not. Simply by looking at this Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen angles, and Chikou Span, and whether the market is within the Kumo or not. And plus, if you draw the lines, and if you see price action, it becomes more powerful. So, I do this in any time frames. But especially today, this is weekend, and we have to focus on the weekly chart. That's why I show this weekly chart as example. But if this were the week, if this were the daily chart or the forward chart, I would say the same thing. Because markets are fractal, so you can apply this knowledge on any time frames and any markets, whether it's a stock market or uh, indices or commodities or even cryptos. The essence is basically the same. Right, so let's move on to the pound pairs. The pound USD, um, on the weekly chart basis, this is within the Kumo now. Um, so the Kumo is still flat. It's about to twist bearish, but it's technically not has been twisted yet. And the Kijun set is now flat. And Tenkan Sen down, so it shows in the short term it's bearish, but in the long term to mid term it's flat ranging. And the Chikou span below the candles. So, like I showed it to you last week, um, basically we have to wait for the Kumo breakout. If we see the Senko span B breakout, then that will become a Sanyaku Gyakuten signal and the market may continuously go bearish afterwards. But it hasn't happened yet. So that means in the price action after these head and shoulders, there was a neckline breakout and the market is now in the bearish, continuously on this bearish end waves. So it seems that the market is going down, but since the market is within the Kumo and also long term is flat, mid term is flat, so it may be traced backwards anytime. So, yeah, the bottom line here is that I would stay away from next week and focus on other trending pairs unless the market breaks the Kumo bearish on the weekly chart. Okay, so let's move on to the next one is um, Pound Yen. Okay, so Pound Yen uh, right now is also flat. Flat Kumo, Tenko Span B flat, A flat. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen both flat, and Chikou Span is too close to the candles. So this is ranging, and simply we better stay away. Um, so uh, two weeks back there was a Doji candle, and last week it didn't break upwards. The previous Doji, this is still ranging, so um, we can't tell which way it's going. So yeah, my recommendation is to stay away. So the next one is Pound CAD. Pound CAD is now also flat and last week the market retraced all the way backwards and it made the Kumo Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat and Chikou Span also retracing backwards to, to the previous candles and simply I would stay away here. It may retrace back to the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen on the weekly chart. So if we see uptrend in the higher time frames, and if you want to take a buy, then in this case, Kijun Sen would be the target in the lower time frames. So 1.7173 is the Kijun Sen on the weekly chart. So if you see uptrend next week, the target will be at that level. This is Kijun Sen retracement strategy that you can use. So, but since this is not trending in weekly chart, I won't mark this one. So now, the next one is Pound AUD. Alright, Pound AUD weekly chart last week was huge bullish trend, but overall it's ranging still. Also, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, and the Chikou Span is too close to the previous candle. So this is also ranging, and last week was bullish, but next week could be bearish, and we can't tell, so we better stay away from this one. 
Um, all right, so let's see. I have a couple of uh, comments here now. Mahen says, Hello, K, how you manage AUDJPY trade? Oh, AUDJPY, I close it very soon with uh, seven pips of loss because the market will trace backwards soon and I exit very soon. And um, Obadia says, um, K, I still have a short position on Euro Swiss run. My strategy is not to close my position until the price are still below the Tenkan Sen on the daily time frame. Is that a good strategy? Um, yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. As long as market is below the Tenkan Sen, you can keep holding it. And once it breaks, you can exit there. Yeah, if you only see, if you only take one single time frame and with the Ichimoku lines, that will be an exit timing. Because when you see the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then that means the short-term sellers are now giving up. But long-term to mid-term is still bearish, so the market could trace back to the Kijun Sen next time. So if you see the Tenkan Sen break out in this case, you better exit, is my advice. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. I have covered pound AUD, so the next one is pound Swiss franc. The pound Swiss franc is now also flat. Yeah, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen flat, and the Chikou span below the candles, but this is now ranging. The market is within the Kumo now, so as I draw these arrows last week, we can't tell which way it's going from here. So I will simply move the arrows like this, but uh, there is no direction, so simply we better stay away. So now let's move on to uh, AUD base pairs. So the first one is AUD USD. Um, AUD USD weekly chart is also flat in terms of Ichimoku lines. The Kumo Senko Span B flat, Senko Span A is flat. I mean, Senko Span A is technically pointing down. But since the Senko Span A hasn't been broken the previous Senko Span A level yet, this is considered to be the flat Kumo. So I have made a video about this strategy, so if you haven't seen it yet, please do on my YouTube channel. But uh, when you see Kumo, and to, to identify whether the Kumo is bearish or not, in this case, you have to see the Tenkan Sen A level. If Tenkan Sen A is still above the previous sen uh, sorry, um, Senko Span A, sorry, <laughs> I mix up, mix up my mind myself. So if Senko Span A level is still above the previous Senko Span A level, and this is considered to be the flat Kumo. So um, as the market goes bearish continuously, uh, you have to wait for the Senko Span A below the previous single span A level and Kijun Sen needs also to be below the Kumo and then you look for the selling edge otherwise it may be trades backwards anytime soon so uh, one thing is that yes we do see that there was a Sanyaku Gyakuten signal here there was a Kumo breakout and before that there was a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross and Chikou Span breakout. So that means in the long term to short term, the sellers are dominant now. Not buyers, but sellers are now dominant. So in the long term, the market will go down this way. But uh, since the Senko Span is still flat and Kijun Sen is still within the Kumo, um, this is the market could retrace backwards and eventually it goes down this way, is my analysis. And that's why I say that we don't want to jump into the market in this case because it may be traced backwards with these lines. Okay, so so that was AUD USD PR. So um, let's move on to the next one, AUD CAD. All right, so AUD CAD PR is bearish right now. So let me mark this one first before I forget. So um, now, if you only see the price action, you may think that this is ranging. So let me cancel Ichimoku like this, and 
this is like ranging yeah the market is up and down up and down in the range so you may expect that the market will be supported at 0 0.9104 and bounces and goes up this way and this is the price action analogy but if you see the Ichimoku lines it's clear that the sellers are dominant right now in the ranging market so you can see that the Kumo's bearish especially Senko span A is pointing down and Kijun Sen is pointing down Tenkan Sen also pointing downwards and on the Chikou span below the candles so this confirms us that the sellers are now dominant so next week there might be a support line breakout so I would look for the selling edge next week on this particular pair. I think AUDCAD is a good one because once it breaks, it goes very fast, bearish, towards our direction. So I will definitely monitor this one and expect the descending P wave breakout next week. So uh, yeah, DJML uh, let me talk about the crypto when I screen all these charts first all right so next one is the audjpy all right so audjpy um the market has retraced all the way back to the kumo or kijun sen and now it's ranging let me delete all these lines here chart, and you can see that the kumo flat and kijun sen flat tenkan sen flat and chikou span also very close to the candles so this is exactly what happened to kijun sen retracement and now the market is very close to kijun sen on the weekly chart there is no direction it may break the kijun sen or it may bounce and goes up and we cannot tell which way it's going so simply i would stay away from this one okay so let's move on to the AUD run um, this one is also ranging. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen are all actually very flat, are very close to the candles, and Chikou span below the candles. But since this is flat, I would stay away. Right, so let's move on to CAD pairs. So CAD JPY, uh, this is now bearish for the last four weeks, has been bearish, five weeks has been bearish. So looks like the market is retracing back to Kijun Sen. So in this case, instead of looking for the buy chance, I would look for the selling edge and target in that case would be the weekly Kijun Sen, which is 88.83 uh, level. So if you see downtrend in the lower time frames, 88.83 will be the target for next week. And the next one is CAD run. This one is ranging purely. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. The price is too close to the Kijun Sen, so we don't simply take a trade. Um, last two weeks has been Doji candles, so this market is very tricky. Within a week, it goes up and down very spiky, so we better stay away. You might get stopped out many times if you touch this kind of market. And the last one is Sisran JPY. Yeah, Sisran JPY is also retracing back to Kijun Sen. And now it's bearish in the lower time frames. So if you look for the sell chance, then the target should be on the Kijun Sen on the weekly chart, which is 121.54 level. So that will be the analysis for this one. So, um, so that covers the whole um, weekly chart on my 20, 21 pairs on my watch list. Okay, so let's see. DJML says, um, Kaysen, I know that you don't trade crypto, but can you please take a look at the SLP USDT, SLP Ethereum pairs and give us a brief analysis? All right, um, let me cover the gold and WTI and indices and news, and then I will talk about these pairs. So please stay tuned. And let's see, Igor says, um, Hi K, do you align daily time frame Ichimoku direction and sentiment with weekly time frame? Yes, I do. Yes. 
Okay, so let's move on. So now I will talk about the gold. Gold was very tricky last week. So I hope you didn't lose on gold. We expect that the market was breaking the previous high and it goes up, but it didn't happen and retraced backwards last week. So uh, as per weekly chart, this is now flat still. The Kumo flat, Jun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span still has been tracing the previous candles, and this is range. So uh, simply, like I mentioned last week, we have to wait for the resistance breakout of 1877.11, and then I will look for the buy chance. Otherwise, I will stay away. The market is within the Kuma also, so this might be very tricky. It may go down sharply or it may go up sharply, and we don't know which way it's going because the market is now into the storm, so it could be very tricky in the lower time frames. So let's stay away from this one and focus on other trending pairs. The next one is WTI crude oil. So um, it was up trending, but last week made a huge retracement and now it's dropping all the way down to the Kijun Sen. So it may touch Kijun Sen next week and bounce and it goes up again. So whether we see the Kijun Sen bounce or not will be the topic for next week on the weekly chart. However, Kumo is up still. The Kumo is up and Kijun Sen, if I zoom in the chart, you can see that the Kijun Sen is technically pointing upwards. You know, this is not bias, right? This is not bias. Technically, Kijun Sen is pointing upwards and Senkospan B is up. Senkospan A is gradually moving up also and Chikospan above the candles. So this is still bullish, although it's retracing heavily last week so that's why i say that it may bounce on this kijun sen next week and goes up this way maybe next next week or so so uh, we'll see and also there was a previous resistance level here so last week may be overshooting the support level resistance level and next week could turn bullish but if you see engulfing like this next week we better stay away. Simply, if you see engulfing inside bar, then wait until the market breaks the resistance of the previous uh, engulfing pattern and look for the buy chance after the breakout. But uh, yeah, so that's the WTI. So now let's move on to the indices. So first, let me cover Nikkei. So Nikkei chart is now still flat continuously. The Kumo Senko Span B is up, but Senko Span A is retracing backwards. And when you see Senko Span B up, Senko Span A down, this is considered also to be the flat Kumo. It's a flat Kumo and Kijun Sen flat and Chikou Span above the candles, but this is ranging right now. So we can't tell which way it's going in the weekly chart so simply, we better stay away. The next one is Dow Jones. Um, Dow Jones last week was still bullish, but uh, it retraced backwards. I mean, two weeks back was bullish, but last week it retraced backwards. So now that the market is on the previous resistance level, it may bounce. Let me delete this arrow. So, um, so it may bounce and goes up. It may bounce on this previous resistance and goes up. Otherwise, it retraces back to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So if you are the short term trader, then maybe you can uh, take a trade or sell to sell to Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen or buy at the pushback but uh, if you wish to hold on the swing then we better stay away I think this is not really a good market to be in right now I think uh, you know we can't expect the market bounce here because we don't see it yet if you don't see the bounce yet then we can't expect it it may break so simply we have to wait for 
a confirmation for the bounce, and then buy afterwards, is my advice. Um, the next one is uh, US 100. Uh, all right, so this one is up and bullish. So hold on, let me take out the Dow Jones, the flag, but keep this one because it's been uptrending right now. US 100 has been uptrending. The Kumo's up, Jun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving up and Chikospan above the candles. And it's renewing higher and higher now. So this is now bullish. And there is no sign of retracement at the moment uh, because there was a nice bounce on the Kijun Sen on the 1st of October and this looks to be a new uptrend. So when you see the market like this, this is also applicable on any market and any time frames. Um, is that the uh, when you see the market uptrend, you see the bounce on the Kijun Sen like this. And when the market bounces on the Kijun Sen, it's like the uptrend is reset and it goes up again. So, but if there is no bounce on the Kijun Sen, then it may retrace back to Kijun Sen and bounce or breaks. But since we had the three bounces on the Kijun Sen in the past, this time it happened here on the, uh, on the 4th of October. So this will be, this is actually a new start new uptrend and it may continue for a while is my analysis so in terms of target since this is all-time high now um, you can set the target at the run number perhaps uh, 17,000 just here and um, just uh, see how it goes it may reach that level next week so we'll see all right, so the next one is S&P 500. Um, this market is also bullish. Like a pointed arrow upwards last week, this one is also bullish. The Kumo's up, Jun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles. And also, like we saw it on the uh, Nasdaq, uh, S&P 500 also, that there was a Jun Sen bounce. I think it was the same timing. It the 1st of October and the 27th of September, there was a Kijun Sen bounce. And now the market is renewing higher and it's just going up this way. So in this case, the target will be the next run number, which is potentially on the uh, 4,800. And the market may reach that level next week. So if you're holding the buy, then this is not a good timing to exit yet. All right, so let's move on to Euro stocks. In terms of Euro stocks, uh, this is now uh, still, sorry, this is uptrending right now. Let me delete all these lines first. So it's uptrending because once again, the Kumo's up, Jun Sen Tenkan up, and Chikou Span above the candles. And last week was bearish candle, and two weeks back was also bullish, but this for the last two weeks has been very, very, uh, you know, weak. Uh, there was no trend. It was, you know, almost like doji candles and very tiny body. So the market was pretty much ranging for the last two weeks. So next week could be bullish, but uh, we will see how volatile it's going to be. But this is bullish, so if you're holding the buy still, then there's no reason to exit yet. And uh, the market reached to the run number 4400 right now. So uh, from here, it may retrace. We had the pre two previous small candles, so it may retrace back to Kijun Sen and then bounce up and goes up this way. So now let's move on to uh, FTSE 100. FTSE retraced backwards last week. Uh, the Kumo now flat, Jijun Sen Tenkan Sen are now also flat, and Chikou Span retracing backwards to the candles. So this is going down and it may retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen next week. So uh, this is not a good timing to buy in this case. It may bounce on this previous uh, resistance level, 
70 to 13.29 and it may go up afterwards on this direction but uh, unless we see the bounce we have to hold is a roll okay so next one is CAC France uh, CAC France is now up trending still the Kumo's up Jun Sen Tenkan up and Chikou Span above the candles and just we saw earlier on the US indices uh, CAC France also there was a Kijun Sen bounce on the 4th of October and now market is marking the new uptrend it broke the previous resistance level of uh, 6907.57 three weeks back and now it's going up so this is uptrending and we can follow the uptrend continuously um, the next market is uh, DAX index DAX is now uptrending uh, the Kumo's up Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are now bullish and Chikou Span above the candles market broke the previous resistance level of 1600 or 16,000 level and now it's going up so this is new uptrending and it may continue to up next week okay and the next one is nifty chart so for the nifty chart it's still uptrending like i mentioned last week so basically this is overall uptrending because the kumo's up Jun sen is up and Tenkan Sen is up still and Chikou Span above the candles. The market broke the Tenkan Sen last week, which was a bit significant, but um, still the market is above the Kijun Sen, so there is a good chance that the market continuously goes up in this way. However, in terms of the buying edge, I would wait for the previous. Uh, resistance level breakout so i would wait for that previous resistance level breakout and then buy afterwards otherwise it might be range for the p wave until it breaks and it may take four weeks uh, for, for that to happen and it is not time efficient so we can come back to the chart after the breakout resistance and buy afterwards all right all right thank you for joining everyone and thanks for the comments um, let me come back to these comments after i cover a few more indices and the news for next week so so there will be two more on the indices and the second last is the au200 uh this one is now ranging because this is a bit tricky but i think it's a good example for the range market uh, you can see that the Kumo is up Senko Span B is up and Senko Span A is up and Senko Span A renewed the previous Senko Span A level so the Kumo is up trending and also Kijun Sen is up trending right now and Chikou Span is getting closer to the candles but technically it's still up so you may think that this is up trending but actually it's not it's kind of tricky because you can see that the Tenkan Sen is now below the Kijun Sen. There was a dead cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen here. So when you see this in Ichimoku original teaching, uh, according to that, uh, this is the end of the uptrend. It's the end of the uptrend, and now the market is in the range in the short to mid term. So the market may retrace back to the Kumo. In this case so this is not a good time to buy so simply we have to wait for the resistance breakout of 76 53.3 uh, level breakout and buy afterward otherwise we better stay away all right the last index and cover is Hansen index Hansen has been ranging in bearish mode because the Kumo flat Junsen flat the market is below the Kijun Sen and Chikou Span below the candles, so it's bearish. And this is in the P wave now, and it may break the P wave bearish. So this is now, uh, it may break the P wave bearish, and it may continue to go down next week. Okay, so that covers the whole indices 
uh, and also gold and WTI and Forex pairs. Okay, so now let me switch to the economic calendar news website and see what kind of news we have next week. So let me go to here and click on uh, this week and click apply and you have all the news here. So let me see, let me squeeze this uh, window to the right so that you can see the whole contents here. Okay, so Monday, we don't have any news. We only have a rate decision in China, but most likely it won't affect any market. Simply, we can just ignore it. And on the Tuesday 23rd, we have retail sales in New Zealand and also um, market manufacturing PMI in Germany. So PMI reports are also important. This one, an impact market. So you have to watch out on the Euro uh, on, on Tuesday. And also there will be a PMI report on Euro itself. So Euro pairs can be volatile on Tuesday. And also another PMI report in Pound. UK, the pound pairs can be affected by this. Moving on to Wednesday 24th, we have a, a rate decision and policy meeting in New Zealand. So in case you are trading New Zealand pairs next Wednesday, just be careful. The, the market can be volatile. And then we have um, in the US, there will be uh, durable goods orders and also uh, non-defense capital and also GDP report annualized. So that appears you have to be careful on next Wednesday. And on Thursday, on the 25th, we have uh, FOMC minutes. So we have to be careful in FOMC. Usually when there's FOMC on that day, I don't trade. So uh, you have to watch out. It can be volatile also and following on friday we have retail sales report in australia and then uh gdp report in switzerland so aud and cisfran can be affected on friday so that's the news for next week that are important so every time you see charts and take trades always check news beforehand otherwise you might get stopped out easily after this news release okay so now that covers the whole topics for today so let me come back to your comments now and continue to discuss some other markets and some other comments and questions all right so let me catch a breath and uh, start the new topics all right so by the way thank you for joining everyone as always, if you liked it so far, please press the like button before you leave and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you can notified as I do these live streams of videos every day on my YouTube channel. Sometimes the live schedule will change without announcement. So if you turn the notification on, then you get notified when I do the live on that day. Okay, so let me cover some other comments uh, today. Sorry. All right. Um, Aldar says, uh, please DXY. All right. So DXY, I have it here. So it's now turning bullish. The Kumo's up, Jun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles, and there was a Kumo breakout. Sanya Koten signal was here. And market looks to be bullish right now on the weekly chart. Uh, in terms of the market levels, we have the previous supports here at uh, 95.70. And last week, it broke upwards. So um, it could go up continuously next week. It's my view. This is not bullish. But... Uh, if the market turns bearish next week, then it may bounce on this Tenkan Sen 
and continuously be bullish afterwards. Yeah, looks like DXY is now strongly bullish now. Okay, let's see. Um, hello, Susan. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Uh, right. Uh, she, she says, uh, can you give me your thoughts on Bitcoin and Ethereum? On the Bitcoin, daily, daily the single span B is pointing up and the single span A is flat. Can you include this in your analysis? Sure. Let me talk about that. So, yeah, Bitcoin has been very tricky last week to trace backwards. Um, so, hold on. So let me delete the lines. As per weekly chart, this is now flat. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span is, you know, still above the candles, but retracing backwards. So, um, in this case, um, the market looks to be bearish, and it may retrace back to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. So Tenkan Sen level is, let's see, Tenkan Sen is, on the weekly Tenkan Sen is uh, 54.210 and also Kijun Sen weekly is on uh, 48.872. So the market may trace back to one of these levels. And with that in mind, if I see the daily chart, uh, the market is within the Kumo now, so we don't trade in this case. And as per forward chart, it's a bit bearish below the Kumo, but the market is above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span still with the candle. So I would recommend to wait for the market breaks the Kijun Sen and Chikou Span comes below the candles and then sell afterwards. And if you sell then, the target will be on this uh, weekly Tenkan Sen or weekly Kijun Sen will be my analysis. So that was Bitcoin. And the next one is Ethereum. So Ethereum on the weekly chart. Uh, okay, this is now flat, Kumo flat Kijun Sen. So two weeks back was Doji and Doji has been broken downwards last week. I think this is significant and it might retrace back to Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen also on the weekly chart. So weekly Tenkan Sen is uh, 37.65 and weekly Kijun Sen is 32.84. So the market may retrace back to one of these levels. And with that in mind, if I take the daily chart, it's now ranging still. And in the forward chart, it's now turning bearish, but the market is going into the Kumo now, so we can't tell which way it's going. So basically in this case, I wait for the market to come down and take a sell. Maybe I will take a sell at this uh, support line breakout. I wait until the support breakout, take a sell, and the target, initial target will be a Tenkan Sen weekly, and the ultimate target will be a Kijun Sen weekly, would be my trading plan. And because uh, when it's ranging like this, I don't trade because it may retrade, it may go up afterwards. This might become an inverse head and shoulders, and the neckline is broken, and this is the neckline testing, and it may go up afterwards. In that case, I don't trade. But if it, if it's still going down this way, then I will take a sell. So that will be my trading plan. This one. All right. Thank you for the comments, everyone. All right. Um, yeah, Kanagawa. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the comments also. Michael, I'm using Ichimoku Kinko here. Yunai says, um, Hi K, USCZAR, please. All right, let me check that one. I have never looked at that pair, so just curious how it looks like. So that's uh, USDCAR. Okay. 
So let me look at the weekly time frame first. Oh, by the way, the things I say is basically universal. You can apply my knowledge the way I say I see charts on any pairs, any markets. So these are just examples of your future trades. If this were the USD, Euro USD, then I will say the same thing. So, because this is technical analysis and uh, it's basically universal. So, uh, yeah, this pair, uh, it's about to break the Kumo, but the candlestick is below the Kumo, below the Senko Span B last week. So, we have to wait for the next week close. If next week close becomes above the Kumo, then next uh, two weeks after you can look for the buy chance uh, so that's one and the market broke the resistance levels and now it's going up um, yeah so looks like this is turning bullish now oh there was a previous resistance levels here too oh yeah um, i would wait for the clear Kumo breakout the close price Close uh, price level should be above the single span B to be trustable future uptrend. And with that in mind, I look at the daily chart. And as per daily chart, it's bullish now. The Kumo up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candle. So it's bullish. And so it may test the resistance level and push back and goes up in this way. And then we can buy afterwards. So that will be that's my analysis. This pair. Alright, simple. Thank you for joining from Caribbean. Good to see you here. Let's see. Hysteria says, uh, can I predict for one month on Ichimoku and start a live account? Um, before you start live. I recommend you to practice. Practice on the tester, practice back testing, and practice on demo account until you become confident. In terms of monthly chart, uh, forex pairs, almost all the forex pairs are ranging on the monthly chart. Um, you can actually take a look on the monthly, and overall, it's ranging. It's a ranging within the Kumo. And uh, there, there is no trend because forex pairs are basically the power balance between two currencies, and the market won't move so much in the long, super long term. Unlike stock market, unlike exotics, these major pairs, minor pairs, goes up and down every week, every day, but it doesn't go up and down every month. Or well, I mean, it doesn't go up long term, down long term in the monthly basis i mean if it goes up and down in monthly basis on these major currencies then that means our balance is imbalance on these major countries major currencies and that might cause the damage and economical perspective so yeah uh, basically i don't really focus on the monthly uh monthly time frame on these major minor pairs and that's why uh, during the week, I only check daily chart and forward chart and see which one is trending or ranging. But if I see weekly time frame trending, then I follow the weekly time frame, but not the monthly chart. All right, Archbuck says, um, hello, K, okay. do you or, uh, or uh, try to analyze fundamentals besides economic news? Uh, no, I don't. I don't really spend time to analyze fundamental news. Uh, because unless the news releases, we never know how market will react. Sometimes, in, in theory, in theory, when the turn out to be positive, then um, the currency will be bought. So let's say if, uh, if your market PMA composite will be positive, uh, better than previous, better than consensus, then euro will be bold. And when it's negative, then euro pairs will be, euro currency will be sold in general. 
but、uh, not always. Sometimes, even if the turn out to be positive, the currency sometimes will be sold if it's much, much less than what market expects. And yeah, so uh, it's, uh, it's kind of unknown. And I don't really trade f u n d a m e n t I don't really, I read news, I read these、uh, news website articles, but I don't trade by fundamentals. Hello, Nova. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. And Gabby, good to see you too. Thank you for joining also. All right, Ivan, good to see you too. All right, Euro Swiss fan, one four hour chart and one hour. All right, so Euro, so Euro Swiss fan, once again, weekly chart, it's going down. And as per daily chart, it's going down too. And in the four hour chart, it's flat right now, retracing backwards. And in one hour chart, It's ranging also retracing. Oh, looks like in one hour chart, there was a nice rejection by this Jun Sen, so it may continue to go down this way. So, in this case, I would simply wait until one hour, two more down, Jun Sen down, and then look for the sell chance in the lower time frames. And let's see, since the market has been bearish. For the last 22, yeah, for the last 22 bars.、Uh, so 26 is Kihon Suchi, 26 is what Kijun Sen takes, and 22 candles. So on Monday,、um, after, after、uh, four hours, five hours, five hours after the market opened, the Kijun Sen will point down. Five or six hours after the market opens, then the Kijun Sen and Kumo Sen k o s p a n A will point downwards tomorrow, Monday, and then you can look for the sell chance afterwards. All right. Yeah, good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. a l r i t h e r e thank you for your comments. Appreciate it so much. Cute Animal says, Can Kyushu legs be used on lower time frame or only on weekly chart? That will be only for the weekly chart as per original book says, but I have tested it and it works on daily chart, it works also on the one hour chart. So, yeah, it works on higher time frames, but it doesn't really work on the lower time frames in 5 or 15 minutes. I don't recommend u s e Kyushu legs. On these lower time frames. All right, Susan says,、uh, Thank you so much. Doing your GTS course with you was by far the best decision in my trading journey. Well, thank you for the comment. Ichimoku system is by far a superior trading analysis tool. All right, thank you for the comment, Susan. Yeah, it was my pleasure to have you on the GTS and、uh, continue to, continue to、uh, improve your trades and enjoy. Your trading journey. Thank you for the comment, Susan. All right, let's see.、Uh, John Harris says, You always wait for the pushback or resistance before entering a trade correct. No, I don't. I don't always wait for the pushback or pullback. If Ichimoku says it's uptrending, then I take it. All right, Asif, you have to go. Thank you for joining. Thank you for stopping by. So,、uh, yeah, see you in the next one. All right, Auto、um, Accessor says,、uh, Hi, could you check、uh, AUDIO USDT on TradingView? Ichimoku is very strange. Look there. All right, so let me check. If Ichimoku is looking strange, that might be interesting. Example. So, let me take that one. I think it's a crypto, right? A U D I O U S D T. Okay. O D O. Okay. I don't trade cryptos and I am not sure about cryptos. So everything is basically new for me. All right. Yeah. So this is. Hold on. Let me check daily chart. Wow. Look at this all the way. Weak point upwards. That was. 
This is crazy. This is insane. When it happened? It happened on the 18th November. Wow. It just happened four days back. There was a huge needle like wick up and down. This is like, yeah, so, so strange. But there was a resistance level here. And that's why the market was stopped there and spiked down. Let me look into the lower time frames, like five. I'm just curious how it behaved in the five minute chart. Whether it happened in five minutes five minute or a couple of hours. Oh wow, okay. So it happened in five in less than five minutes. The market should all the way and ever since it has been downtrending and now it's ranging. Okay. So coming back to daily chart Ichimoku, this is now range, is all I have to say, because um, you can see that the, um, the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, which correspond with the candles in its range. The market is within the Kumo too. Yeah, but uh, to be honest, if you see this kind of market where there's a big wick pointing up and downwards, and also the market is spiky like this. I don't recommend you to use Ichimoku. Ichimoku is more for stable market and also uh, not a spiky market like this. Uh, so if you see kind of this kind of you know huge wick upwards and downwards, um, you better use other indicators. Like moving average might work better than Ichimoku because Ichimoku reacts by these highs and lows for the last couple of candles. Kijun Sen takes for the last 26, Tenkan Sen takes for the last 9 candles, and Senko Span B takes for the last 50, 51 candles. So, um, if you see these high wicks and low wicks up and downwards like this, um, it may trick these Ichimoku lines, and you can't really see charts correctly by Ichimoku. So, yeah, in this market, I don't recommend you to use Ichimoku. It's a bit tricky to use. Yeah, it's unlike Forex. So uh, it's so interesting to see this. All right, Jay says, uh, great to keep learning. Thanks, thanks to you, enjoying your method of analysis, looking back test before applying in live trace. Yes, please back test. And I recommend to back test 100 trays. You take 100 trays manually and back testing, whether it's a flex tester or a back testing tools, and then practice it and see performance. And if it's positive, then practice on them account and then move on to the real account. You have to do it step by step, gradually. All right, good to see you, everyone. Thanks for joining. Oh, I think the sound is okay. I can see the microphone is going and I don't see any comments and sound is not working so it should be working correctly. All right, Obadiah, you're welcome. All right, uh, Tana says, uh, okay, I made 1K in one week using Ichimoku. Well, that's a great result. Please keep going and please don't stop and keep improving your trace, keep looking back on trace, and learn from your trace. Yeah, because if you make 1k this week, and if you lose 1k next week, or if you lose 2k next week, that's not good. You can't keep trading in that way. So, yeah, make sure to keep up your strategy, and follow your discipline, and then you should be fine. Okay, the Jamel says, uh, Sir, uh, please can you check SLP USDT and SLP Ethereum pair? Oh, yeah, sorry, the Jamel, I forgot about your comment. So let me check that one right now. Uh, SLP, thank you for reminding. Sometimes I forget. SLP USDT, so that's another, another uh, cryptocurrency. In the daily time frame, it's range flat okay so there was also a long week point nappers on the 4th of november 
Okay. So, um, well, so it was downtrending the whole time since 13th of July this year. It has been downtrending all the way and now it's ranging. So the market is at the bottom right now. Let me draw the support line. The market is at the bottom right now. And um, yeah, it's flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen. Tenkan Sen is also flat. Kospan has been tracing the previous candles. So yeah, there is no clue which way it's going right now. But one thing for sure is that if it breaks the 0 0.057 level, then you better exit. That's for sure. I think that's not Ichimoku. I think that's pretty basic. So you know that that will be when you exit. But uh, in terms of bullishness, I am not sure when it happened. Uh, yeah, but let me see. Uh, let's see. Weekly chart is also, yeah, there is no enough data in the weekly. So we don't see any Ichimoku lines, so we better look at some lower time frames. In the forward chart, it's um, yeah, it's about to break the Kumo, but yeah, it's flat still. So I would say in the I think forward chart looks better to see analyze charts. Uh, if I were looking at chart, then I would first draw the line like this descending trend line i would draw and i will take this breakout and kumo breakout for one of the buying edge so that's one um okay but when it when it go bearish then i don't buy so yeah i would most likely buy after the trend line and Kumo breakout is my plan. Hussein says, if your stay is at uh, 1.1000, I will go to Japan for sushi. Okay, <laughs> that is my target. Sure. Hope you can take profit and eat sushi in Japan then. All right, Archback says, I think UK, I was asking if you look beyond economic news as fundamental analysis and analyze other fundamental analysis like commitment of traders and currency futures. Oh, uh, that I don't. I don't really look at them. Yeah, simply I look at this calendar and I follow some news and that's it. So yeah, it's a it's a ridiculous chart. It's a this one is too too tricky market. Yeah, this is this is not good. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, I hope you didn't buy at the top. Maybe you can't. You can't execute the trade up up here. Maybe because it's too spiky. <laughs> yeah, this is very, very strange. Ellen says, uh, if there are a chance that Euro will go up this week, um, Euro pairs, Euros are, hold on. To answer that question, uh, first you can look at the, I would take a look at the strength chart and see how Euro was last Thursday and Friday. So Euro has been weak. Last, This is the strength chart from last Friday. And this is Euro is as a red one is bearish. And Thursday, Euro was a bit bullish. Um, so um, I think overall Euro is a bit weak, weaker last week. So I don't think Euro is going to go up. Uh, anytime soon.
All right, Archback, you're welcome. Obadiah says, um, okay, is it okay to use Tenkan Sen as exit strategy on the daily chart if your position is buy or short? That's what I'm doing right now, or using Tenkan Sen as an indicator to close a trade. Uh, yeah, that's totally fine, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so let's say if you see uptrend, you see, uh, so let me take Forex and Euro USD, for example, and this is the market has been downtrending first of all here on the flower chart and so if you take the tenkan sen as exit, exit timing that will be an exit in the short term traders because tenkan sen shows the short term momentum and kijun sen shows the mid term momentum so that means as long as the market below the tenkan sen that means short term sellers are dominant but once you see the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then that means in the short term, buyers become dominant. And when the market is exactly on the Tenkan Sen, the buyers and sellers are in equilibrium. So if you wish to follow short term traders' momentum, then you can exit at the Tenkan Sen. But if you wish to follow the mid term market momentum, then you can exit on this Jun Sen breakout. And if you wish to exit in the long term momentum, then you better exit on this Kumo breakout, single span B breakout. So depending on which term you would like to follow, your exit timing can be changed. And that's the true essence of Ichimoku. So, and for example, you can do this also. You take three trays, we take three trades here, for example. So you at the breakout, for example, you take a one and two and three trades. And one of the positions you exit on, on this uh, short term. So you exit Tenkan's in here, breakout Tenkan's in here, and you take profit. And on the second trade, you exit on this Junsen breakout. And on the third exit, you still keep holding it because it doesn't break the single span B level yet. So you can do this also. Rahul says, uh, Sensei, please analyze Wipro stocks. All right, so you have asked me yesterday on the Saturday live stream. So I remember Rahul, so let me check that one. So Wipro. LTD, let me see. This is the stock market in India. So let's see. Since this is weekly close, let's take a look at the weekly first. The so weekly says it's up. Yeah, the Kumo's up, Kijun Sen is up, Chikou span above the candles, and it's bullish right now. So, but in this case, the market may retrace back to Kijun Sen on the weekly. So that means the market may consolidate for a while and touches the Kijun Sen as Kijun Sen keeps going up this way and then bounce and goes up this way. Or it may retrace back to Kijun Sen next week and bounce and goes up this way. So I would create these two scenarios. So when I confirm the Kijun Sen bounce on the weekly, then I buy will be my um, my analysis. This is on the weekly basis, and if it's on the daily chart, let's see. Oh, daily chart is now back to single span B, so it's about to be bearish in the long term. Um, yeah. So since weekly is still up bullish, um, my view is up trending. So instead of taking the daily chart. In this case, I would follow a weekly time frame. Yeah, to buy. So Kijun Sen bounce could be a good chance to buy next week or next next week.
All right, Archibald, you're welcome. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by here. All right, let's see. Nasdaq, I have covered already. But Nasdaq is, uh, hold on, let me recall. Nasdaq is up trending and it's about to reach the next run number 17,000 is my view John Harris says uh, would you please upload a tutorial on TradingView app still trying to see how things work compared to MetaTrader um, sure I will Oh, by the way, I think uh, tomorrow, the 13th, tomorrow or the day after, uh, we will have a, a big sale on the TradingView. It happens every year and uh, this big sale is going to come uh, tomorrow or the day after. Uh, that will be a huge, I think it's going to be like 50% sale or 40% sale on an annual basis. So I think that's a good timing for you to upload the subscription on the trading view. And also you have the link on my on the description below for uh for trading view subscriptions. If you click on my link, then you will have some discounts also. But yeah, I will create a tutorial, yes. Um yeah, or maybe simply I show, I will show everybody how I use TradingView and functions and how I lay out these tools and indicators. John Harris says, I always get confused with your Tenkan and Kijun Sen since they are primarily red and blue. Yeah, yeah, so I change the colors. Yeah, I didn't like red because uh, red is too vivid and red means stop unconsciously. Or red means dangerous unconsciously. So I didn't use, I didn't want to use red. So uh, yeah. Oh, Alex says, my Kijun Sen is yellow, my Tenkan Sen is blue. Okay, <laughs> that, that's confusing. Yeah. But as long as you know which line is which, I think it's good. Kijun Sen is, when Tenkan Sen is the closest one, Junsen is the second closest from the candles, and Yunokumo and Chikou Span is, you know, this, uh, you know, uh, spiky because it takes a close price. So you know which one is Kijunsen, Tenkansen, these behaviors. What this is, do you use leverage? Yes, I do. Yep, I do. Hussein, you're welcome, and Rahul, you're welcome too. John Harris says, I'm trying to find you on the app, but can't seem to look for the search bar. Oh, uh, you mean my TradingView account? Um, it's uh, this one. Forexk-official is my uh, TradingView account. So maybe you can search here. You can type Forexk or Forexk-official and you may be able to find myself. Adeya says, um, okay, if you have a trend on the daily chart, for example, downtrend, but on one minute, in five minutes, it's showing a strong uptrend, is it advisable to close the trade since the ripple effect of um, one minute goes to daily even monthly um, if uh, let's see if daily chart is still trending down then you better stick to the daily chart is my opinion because uh, these spikes on the lower time frames can be fake and it may continuously go bearish by following the daily chart but let's say if you see uptrend in the five or uptrend in one minute stably, like consecutive N waves bullish in five, or uh, if you start to see inverse 
head and shoulders in five and goes up, then you may want to close. You may want to close it there and fix some profit. And afterwards, the market may start to go down again. And then you re-enter re the market. You re-enter the trade. All right, so, uh, oh, it's been like one hour now, one half hour now. Wow, it's been quite long today. Didn't realize that. So, yeah, let me finish the uh, the uh, live stream for today. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do see many more comments, but unfortunately, I have to end the session today. So, uh, but once again, thank you for joining everyone. It was nice meeting you, nice talking to you on the chat. And I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. So, uh, sorry I wasn't able to cover the last few comments, but uh, I will check this after I end the live and enjoy these comments. So, uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Please have a great rest of the weekend and rest please well and hope you make some nice pips next week so until i see you next time please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold all right bye for now everyone matane thank you i say matane and that means see you in japanese so i say matane thank you